Hey everyone, in this series we're going to build a web app together using Vapor. So I planned this series to go over a couple of weeks and I'm going to build it alongside the community and each time a new video gets uploaded you can leave comments for what you want to see built next. My idea is that we go through and create some sort of online generator, whether it be something to do with names or artwork or even maps. Uh, I haven't quite fully fleshed it out in my head yet, but the plan is that we build this together. Here I am in my repositories folder. This is where I keep all of my projects and I make a point to keep this separated from any iCloud storage. Git just doesn't play very well with it. To get started, I'm going to create a new folder, mkdir vapor generator. Then I'll open up that folder. Now, before you can actually start the project, you'll need to install vapor and the easiest way to do that is through brew. The only other thing you'll need to make this work is Xcode and the command line tools that it comes with. You can now create the project. I'm going to call mine vapor generator. So vapor new vapor generator. After press and return, you'll be taken through the setup wizard. Fluent is used to interact with the database. I won't be using that at the moment, so no. Leaf is the web page renderer. So yes to that. We're not just building a backend API, we'll be doing some front end work too. Open up the project folder that was just created for you. Now you'll type swift run and press return. This first build will take the longest and then every subsequent build after that will be much quicker. While this is building, I just wanna mention that this is a community driven project. I'll be taking input from everyone in the comments and on Twitter as to where this project should go. So the idea would be some kind of website that can generate stuff for you. And that could be artwork or names or something like that. But ultimately it's up to you to tell me what you want it to do. Now that the server is up and running, we can stop it by holding down control C. And we can start it again by typing in Swift Run. Now if we put that IP address into our address bar inside our web browser, we will see this. Just under two minutes into the video, we already have a server up and running. We can now open the project in Xcode by navigating to its location and double clicking on package.swift. Or if you want to do this through the terminal, just type vapor Xcode. On first launch, Xcode will need to go through and load all these package dependencies. These are all cached too, by the way, so you won't have to wait for them to reload again next time. So the first file to look at here is the configure file, and this is where the actual server configuration is done. I'll go into more about this in a future video. Next up, we have the routes file, and this is where every single web request that's made to your server will come through. So far, there are only two routes set up, app.get and app.get hello. Hello is the parameter that's passed into the web address, and the plain app.get request returns that hello vapor page that we saw earlier. And of course, this is done through the leaf renderer. Here, it's rendering the index.leaf with a title, hello vapor parameters pass through. Inside the index.leaf is some HTML and you can see that this title parameter matches up with the one we pass through in the route. If I change the text, hello vapor to hello Bo, then rebuild the server. You can see that it has now changed in the web browser. Another thing we can do is open up the index.leaf and make some edits in there. Now, because all we've done is updated some HTML, we don't need to rerun the server. We just refresh the page and the updates should show up. Thanks for joining me today on this episode. My name's Bo. If you want to get in contact with me, you can do so through Twitter. And if you'd like to follow along with this series, make sure you subscribe and get the notifications of these videos every time they get uploaded. Thanks, until next time.